Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. In this video, I'm going to do an example of changing a log to an exponential and an exponential to a log. So let's say, for example, we have a exponential function x is equal to 2 to the y. So this is the inverse of the exponential y is equal to 2 to the x. So remember that exponentials and logs are inverses, yada, 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 don't really matter for this video. But uh, it's important in the whole scheme of understanding exponentials and logs. But uh, what we're going to do to this, guy is we're going to change it into logarithmic form. So I have um, very simple rules for this. And that is I always start by thinking about this phrase. The base of my exponential is the base of my log. The base of my log is the base of my exponential. So this guy right here, the base of my exponential, is the base of my log. So this is log base 2. And then what it equals goes inside my log function. So this is x. And then this exponent pops out in front here. y equals. So it's y is equal to log base 2 of x. So let me, ref let me just do that again. So the base of my exponential is the base of my log. What it equals goes inside. And then my exponent is the equal to part. So let me just do that with another example. So if I had something like, I don't know, 8 is equal to 2 to the 3. So I'll use all numbers this time. So 2 to the 3 is 8. So the base of my exponential is the base of my log. So log base 2, what it equals, goes inside. And then uh, my exponent is what it equals. So log base 2 of 8 is actually 3. So what if we have the other way around? So let's say we had something like this. y is equal to log 5 of x. Something like that. So again, I'll use the same phrase. The base of my log is the base of my exponential. So 5, then what it equals is my exponent. And then what's inside is what it equals. Just like that. All right? So some people might like, uh, you know, if you had, let's just use all variables to sort of, Let's say a to the b is equal to c. So that could go back and forth between the log of a, so the base is a, then what it equals goes inside, and then that's equal to b. So if you want something to sort of like a, um, you know, a general rule, you can use that. But I just sort of like to think about it. I think that's the best way to do it. So let me just let me just say it again. The base of my log is the base of my exponential. What my log equals is the exponent. What's inside my log is what the exponential equals. If we have it the other way, the base of my exponential is the base of my log. What my exponential equals goes inside, and then my exponent is what it equals. <clears throat> All right, guys. You just got to practice this one and make sure you get it sorted out in your head. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.